Welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley at Test Tech Talk. Um, today, guys, I want to show you guys how to create um, a Facebook story. I already did that, but today I want to show you guys how to check how many people that viewed your Facebook story and to know um, the names of people that viewed your Facebook story. This is actually one of the questions that have been asked several times on the previous video where I made video on how to create Facebook story. So people have been asking me. Um, how to know who viewed their story and then in this video i'm going to show you guys exactly that and whatever it is i'm just going to uncover it on this particular video so let's dive in so first of all if you open your facebook application or your facebook page actually facebook page we open in my facebook page through this url since i already know the url and since i'm already logged in so that is opening another place to also check this also is from facebook creator since is a facebook page related is still going to be relating to facebook creator so i'm still going to put this video in facebook creator timeline i mean facebook creator creators playlist so that is loading up give it some minutes to complete and this is also loading up give it some minutes to complete depending on how fast your internet is this is going to be more faster than mine on my pc all right, guys, so our Facebook page is open and our creator studio is still opening up. So um, to check our Facebook story, we just have to click on this settings right here so that it's going to um, it's going to pop out and display us some details. Actually, what we want to we need to check is the insight. We can also go through this area, but for some reason, I want to click on this Facebook settings because most times that um, option might not display in for you so you might want to click on this option to come over to the settings to see more things and still loading so once this have opened up for us just go ahead and click on this menu icon and then still go to the insight area it's not displaying all the whole features I wanted because it's supposed to be displayed right here but for some reason I think they've changed that and it's no longer showing there so I just have to click on this icon to select this menu icon and then select Insight. So wait for it to load. So guys, once you are right on this page, you, you will notice there is a lot of activities going on on this page. This is actually showing all my insights and it's showing everything on the page. If you scroll down, you can see that. If you keep scrolling down, you will keep seeing different things. But this is actually not what we want to look at. Actually, all we want to look at today is this one called Stories. So go ahead and click on your Stories. Wait for it to load up. Again, depending on how fast your internet is, it's going to be faster or a bit slow, depending on your internet. But um, for some reason, this page actually loaded faster. So now you can notice the most recent, um, the most recent story I posted. I published it on the fifteenth of August, and it expired today. So if you notice, I have um, seventy-two unique view um 26 forwards and five engagement all you need to do to confirm more about this is just to go ahead and click on that and yes guys this is all it displays it doesn't actually show you the name of people that are actually viewing them the reason is because this is um this is a facebook page um even though those people followed you on your facebook page they get to see this right and even though those people didn't follow you on your page they still get to see it if they follow you on your personal profile so um they are still going to see it on their perfect on their personal profile and randomly facebook also displays this for them so you guys should know that um it doesn't actually show the name of those people but it actually gives a count of those people so it, gave, it said actually that this video this um story got to 71 unique accounts meaning 71 accounts that are not yet following this page which is actually a plus for us that means if anybody actually is interested or liked this kind of content that i posted he might actually um go ahead and click on my page to see more about my page or what my page is all about so it's actually a good way to promote your page once you're posting stories but it actually doesn't show you guys the names of the people it doesn't show that because i have a lot of questions of people asking to know how to see the names of people that checked their story on their page it doesn't actually show you the names it only shows you the number of people because it's actually counting um the audience reach and the traffic coming into the website so it's not going to give you the names of people checking them the only 
place is going to give you names is when people comment on it like it send you direct message on this particular story that's the only time you get to see attention coming to your story but if not it doesn't actually show it so if you guys watch this video and you're convinced enough or you're confused about anything leave it on a comment below i'll be able to answer them and if you like this video so far please subscribe but if you still want to know more about this because i'm also going to show you guys how it displays on our creator studio right about now keep watching the video so let's go over to our creator studio so right on our creator studio in order to check our story um activities or who viewed them click on the content library section and then go ahead and select stories wait for it to load it might take a while depending on how fast your internet is again all right guys so um this is open now you can notice we are still having the same details we got from the previous um, Facebook page section. So all you need to do is go ahead and click on it, wait for it to load. And now you can see we have like 72 information and it's actually not displaying everything like we got from the previous page, like talking about the forwarding and all this stuff. So this actually doesn't display exactly the way it did on the previous one so i think this is a bit um tricky so you might want to be making use of the one from the page because i think that is more complete since it has more information about the um how many people that forwarded how many people that watch the um the story and all those stuff i think you can still see how many people that liked it and how many people that visited the page so i think this is actually more interesting and more um accurate if you want to um check properly how your story went because i can't exactly say if you want to see who viewed your story because it actually doesn't show who views your story and there is no way to know that right now but actually if you guys want to know how um how to easily get to see who viewed your story there is actually a way to do that but that is only when you are current currently active let me show you guys that i'm going to show you guys actually on my next video because it's not possible to do that right now because i have to post the story and then leave people to see it for some time and then so i'm going to show you guys on my next video because i still want to show you guys how to do this on mobile so let's leave that on the next video so on the next video i'm going to show you guys how to know who actually saw this story which is also not very accurate because most time it doesn't display except if the person is actually your friend on facebook so Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the video if you learned from this video, enjoy it from it, and also share the video with your friends. And please do not forget to leave a comment below if you have any question or any challenges, or if you feel like the video is so boring and maybe um, boring you out, just let me know your suggestion below so that I'll improve better. All right, guys, stay home and stay safe. Peace.